Hi Libra, welcome to your August spirit messages. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our community. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe to my channel, please. I'd love to hear from you. I do need to give some adoration and gratitude to the Morgan, my deity. These videos are a little bit different than the traditional tarot. I channel messages directly from the divine realm. I work together with my masters, teachers, and loved ones to provide this information. The messages that are coming through may be from your masters, teachers, loved ones, archangels, guardian angels, guides, goddesses, spirit guides, any deities, any, any elementals, basically anyone who resides in the divine realm of the highest good for the greatest good only surrounded by the white light of the divine. Your reading is looking pretty beautiful so far, Libra. Hang tight. One more card for Libra, please. If you are interested in a private reading, shoot me over an email. It's in the description box below. So at the bottom is no. Pause, postpone, say no. Why are you moving too fast? Where are you thinking that you are right when you are wrong? Or maybe not helping your collective community as you could be. This may resonate with you if you have sun, moon, rising, and Libra, okay? Ooh. Share your voice, come by the cape, persecution, expression. Wow. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, or if you don't, I would encourage that you do. I just posted, sorry, that's a beautiful chorus in the background if you like their music. Um, I just posted the last video where I, or a uh, last post on Instagram, where I talked about self-empowerment. And this Ten of Swords together with uh, the Share Your Voice coming out of the Cave Persecution, um, and this Ten of Wands with Yes is telling me big to end the judgment with the ever unfolding rose that's happening to you, not or for you, not to you. Um, all of this is telling me that the month, the card is just wanna talk. Sister of the road, beauty, devotion, my, priestic, mystic teacher with the magician. It's Gemini energy. But this is telling me something's coming an end. Something's wrapping up. Bow tied, painful. Maybe a little bit sad, maybe a little bit defensive, maybe some sharp words are exchanged. Maybe you see somebody for who they are, not for who you want them to be. It's a big energy that we're experiencing in the month of August, also actually going through the entire rest of the year, right? We have Neptune that's retrograde and over on Instagram, I talk about that. And Neptune retrograde helps us to see people for what they are and helps us understand what we need to purge. Judgment, the ever-unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Look at this. This is all to do with your divine feminine. Many of you might be walking into your divine feminine power. Perhaps it was something that you kept silenced before. Perhaps it was something that you weren't really connected with before, right? Maybe a part of you was told that you couldn't share what it, you know, what it meant to be a divine feminine for you. Maybe you were, sorry, we live off of a main street. Um, and even though it's late at night, there's clearly trucks out there. Um, maybe some of you were actually oppressed. Maybe from your culture, maybe from your family, maybe from the people around you. Shame, shame, you can't do that. Shame, shame, you can't do this. Lots of judgy, judgy energy around you. And so you fell into the thirst trap, right? You fell into the trap of being a judgy McJudgerson yourself. But what happened in that is that you stopped sharing your truth and you stopped speaking where you needed to speak and what you needed to speak. I do need to give some gratitude to the Morrigan. Did I say that already? I can't remember. Share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution expression with the Ten of Swords. No more being silenced. No more being complacent. No more not sharing how you're feeling, Libra. No more. If someone upsets you, you say it. If you feel something is unjust and unfair, you say it. You use your mouth, your words, your power. You become empowered. 
You no longer let other people manipulate and control you. You stand up. And if that means friendship ends, relationship ends, connections, jobs, whatever, then it ends. Because you know now, with judgment coming through, that's the truth will set you free. You know and you see the truth so clearly now. And so you've decided no longer to partake in the bullshit. With yes, just say yes in the Ten of Wands. This is to me is confirmation after confirmation that if there is something in your life, someone in your life that you no longer want to be associated with, that you no longer want to be linked with Libra, yes, say goodbye. The Ten of Wands is here to support you. That heaviness, that burden that you carry, the remorse, the regret, the guilt. It's time to, it's time to end that. But you end that by no longer holding on to the attachments of where that came from. Toxic friendships, toxic connections, toxic relationships, toxic mindsets. Then you got Sisterhood of the Rose, beauty, devotion, priestess, mystic teacher, the magician. You know, although this masculine and this is feminine, this is very much intertwined, right? The magician can manifest absolutely anything that they want to manifest in their life. Absolutely anything. They hold the power in their hands. And so maybe you have the opportunity to make rights with some people. Maybe you have the opportunity to ask for forgiveness. Maybe your divine team is here to help you at this moment to step into your power. Beauty, devotion, priestic, mystic, teacher, sisterhood of the rose. These are all divine feminines that work in tandem to support the evolution and the growth of you, whether you're a female or male. This is your time to grow and shed, right? We can't keep carrying all the burdens of the Ten of Wands and expect to grow. It's not going to happen gotta put them down somewhere so you can begin again so family call upon your tribe you don't have to do this alone so if this is something that you're dealing with like a, a, a needing to break something up right trust that your soul family is here to help you this could be physical people in your 3d realm or it could be in the divine plane calling your masters calling your teachers calling your loved ones call on anybody that you connect with in the divine plane ask for protection ask for the white light of the divine to surround you Right? Believe that you're protected and believe that you don't have to do this alone. You can evolve, you can grow, you can come into your true power with people around you who are gonna support you. And you can find emotional fulfillment and you can find emotional happiness. All your wishes and dreams can come true. They're literally like right in front of you. You just gotta release all those attachments. Imagine having bags and bags of stuff that's carrying on behind you. And so you're trying to move forward, but you can't. And it's hard and it's a struggle to move forward. And all of a sudden you decide to turn around and go, fuck these two tents. I'm done here. Well, and there comes your emotional fulfillment. Your ability to manifest and bring absolutely everything to fruition. And so there you turn in to the master manifester and you come into your power libra and you most definitely have that opportunity in the month of august all right libra that was your spirit messages reading for august let me know what you thought of in the description in the comment section below give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel please and if you're interested in a private reading shoot me an email it's in the description box below that's it for now see you later alligator peace out